Hello, everyone. I'm Yu Zheng from Tsinghua University. It's my great honor to present our work, DGCN, Diversified Recommendation with Graph Convolutional Networks. First, let me introduce the background of this paper. There are many metrics to measure a recommender system. For example, accuracy, diversity, freshness, novelty, and so on. In this paper, we focus on diversity, which measures the dissimilarity among the recommended items. Here is an example of a user's interaction history. There is a dominant category with more interactions, and in this example, close is the dominant category. And electronics is the disadvantaged category with fewer interactions. And here are two recommendation lists for the user. We can observe that the first one only recommends close and it is accurate but redundant, while the second one recommends both close and electronics, so it is accurate and diverse. However, having both accuracy and diversity is challenging because there exists certain accuracy diversity dilemma. Here, we plot the accuracy and diversity of a few recommender systems. We can observe that recommenders with high accuracy tend to show low diversity, and recommenders with high diversity tend to show low accuracy. So our goal in this paper is to achieve better trade-off between the two factors, accuracy and diversity. Existing re-ranking methods like MMR usually follows the first accuracy then diversity strategy. In step one, candidate items are generated with accuracy as the only target. And in step two, those candidates are re-ranked for diversity. For example, the MMR score is calculated after generating candidates. In re-ranking-based diversification approaches, accuracy and diversity are decoupled. We now show why the decoupled design is suboptimal. Here is a typical recommendation pipeline which has three stages of matching, scoring, and re-ranking, and existing solutions perform diversification in the last stage, re-ranking. The first drawback is that upstream models like matching models and scoring models are unaware of diversification. The second drawback is that items after scoring could already be redundant, then any diversification methods could not improve the diversity. Actually, the second drawback could be resulted from the first drawback. There are several challenges for diversified recommendation. The first challenge is the insufficient diversity signals in matching models, since upstream matching models are unaware of diversification. The second challenge is the sample bias with respect to item category. For example, the dominant categories have much more examples than disadvantaged categories. The third challenge is the accuracy diversity dilemma, since higher diversity is often at the cost of lower accuracy. We now introduce our proposed diversified recommendation with graph convolutional networks, shortened as DGCN. To tackle the first challenge of insufficient diversity signals in matching models, we propose to perform diversification with GCN. 
The first benefit of using GCN is that with GCN as the matching model, we can diversify during matching instead of existing works that diversify after matching. The second benefit is that higher order neighbors tend to cover more diverse items since they include not only the center users interacted items but also similar users interacted items. To address the second challenge of sample bias with respect to item category, we propose two special designs. The first one is diversified neighbor discovering and negative sampling. And the intuition behind this design is to balance dominant and disadvantaged category. The second one is adversarial learning, which removes category information from item embedding. To overcome the accuracy diversity dilemma, we propose to make neighbor discovery and active sampling tunable. Specifically, we introduce two hyperparameters to perform trade off between accuracy and diversity. Here is the overview of our proposed DGCN model. We now elaborate on our special designs on diversification. Traditionally, we select node neighbors and active items randomly. Here, those green items are the selected neighbors and those red items are the selected negative items. However, close is the dominant category with much more examples than the disadvantaged category electronics. As a result, for the number of neighbors, close is much larger than electronics, and for the number of negative examples, close is roughly the same with electronics. Then, models trained with those neighbors and negative examples tend to recommend too many clothes, which lead to low diversity. So, our idea is to select more electronics as neighbors and more clothes as negative items. And here is an example of our selected neighbors and negative items and differences are shown in red boxes. For neighbor discovering, we first compute category histogram for each user's interacted items. We then take inverse of the histogram to reweight each interacted items. We introduce a hyperparameter alpha to perform trade-off. For negative sampling, we propose to select more negative items from positive categories and another hyperparameter beta is introduced which controls the sample probability from positive categories. Now I will introduce adversarial learning in DGCN. From the perspective of representation learning, we would like to capture only item level preference. And from diversification, we would like to remove category level preference. These two points mean that category information should be removed from item embeddings. In other words, we cannot predict item category from the item embeddings. Based on this analysis, we propose to add an extra classifier which predicts item category from the learned item embeddings of GCN. The target of the classifier is to maximize the accuracy of item category prediction, while the target of the recommender is to minimize that accuracy. In this way, the learned item embeddings from GCN squeeze out category information and increase the diversity. 
we conduct experiments on three large-scale data sets, and here shows the basic statistics. We compare our proposed DGCN with four competitive diversification baselines. We evaluate both accuracy and diversity of all methods. For diversity, we adopt three widely used metrics, which are coverage, entropy, and Gini index. We aim to answer three research questions. The first is, how does the proposed method perform compared with other diversified recommendation algorithms? The second research question is, what is the effect of each proposed component in DGCN? And the last research question is, how to perform trade-off between accuracy and diversity using DGCN? Here are the overall performance of all methods on Taobao and Baby datasets. We have several observations. The first observation is that the accuracy diversity trade-off exists widely. For example, on Taobao dataset, the accuracy of DPP is much higher than PMF plus alpha plus beta. However, DPP provides less diverse items. The second observation is that it is more difficult to balance the two aspects for existing greedy algorithms. For example, DUM is very aggressive on diversity. However, the accuracy is much lower compared with other methods. The last observation is that our proposed DGCN achieves a better overall performance than existing baselines. To better show the last observation, we plot both diversity and accuracy of DPP and DGCN on the same figure. We can observe that with same diversity, DGCN achieves better accuracy. And with same accuracy, DGCN achieves better diversity. So DGCN attains a better overall performance considering both accuracy and diversity against state-of-the-art DPP method. Here we provide the ablation study of DGCN. We evaluate the performance of adding only one special design of diversification to GCN. We can observe that each component alone contributes to improved diversity. And combining the three special designs achieve the most diverse recommendation. Finally, we show the performance under different values of alpha and beta. By increasing alpha or beta, diversity could be effectively improved with acceptable loss on accuracy. In other words, trade-off between accuracy and diversity is successfully achieved by tuning the two introduced hyperparameters. To summarize, we propose diversification during matching based on GCN, which attains better overall performance compared with existing diversification after matching approaches. We show that better trade-off between accuracy and diversity can be effectively achieved by the proposed DGCN model. For future work, we believe that it is promising to automate the process of neighbor discovering and negative sampling in DGCN and replace it with a learnable model. Codes can be found at this link. Thanks for listening, and here are some contact information of our lab.